What's up, it's your girl Diva, and welcome back to Diva's house. So, it's time for Tired of at Home Mom slash Diva. So, I know it's been a while, and you guys know I work, so there's not that many stories to tell. But I figured I'd come at y'all with an update and let y'all know what's going on in this mommy's life. So, stay tuned if you want to hear about, of course, my Diva tales. Stay tuned. It's Diva's house! So hey Divas, yeah, so I'm back. So I know it's been a while since I've come to you with a diary of at home mom video because there hasn't been really a lot to tell you guys so let me just update you on what's been going on so I've still been working the four days a week at Old Navy um four hours a day I've been lucky enough to either pick up a shift here or there or pick up a couple of extra hours while at the store but it doesn't happen often what's been nice is I haven't had to worry too much about Saturday daycare because or Saturday care period because I've either had a friend help me out, my sister-in-law will help me out, or I've been off, which has been really great. One of the managers that does the schedule, he's been really great about giving me a Saturday off. So what I think he's been doing is rotating me. So like I'll have two or three Saturdays off, and then I'll have to work at least two Saturdays. And then I picked up a Sunday schedule shift. Somebody was giving away their shift. So I worked Easter Sunday, and then I worked the past Sunday because I guess he figured I was available, but I'm off this Saturday. I do, though, have to take off, like, a whole five days from work because my day, my daughter's daycare is going to be closed. So, Thursday, Friday, which is the 21st and the 22nd, which is also Passover, has nothing to do with my fact that my daughter's daycare is closed, but she is closed at Thursday, Friday. Of course, she doesn't have weekend hours, and she's closed that Monday. So, I figured I'll take off that Thursday, that Friday, just ask for Saturday, so it's a, a straight. Maybe ask to work Sunday, and then be off Monday, but I do have to do something about the 28th, because I'm supposed to go back for her WIC appointment. So, needless to say, I end up taking off a lot of these days, and no, I'm not a single mom. If you guys are just tuning into that of an at-home mom... No, I'm not a single mother. I just happen to be the one who only works part-time and ends up having to take off because her daycare is closed. Her dad works full-time, and he's a predominant money maker here in the house. My paycheck just goes to her daycare and whatever else I can afford out of it. Um, so I really don't make a whole lot of money just working part-time. Hence why I'm still on the hunt for a full-time job that pays a lot more. Now, I never imagined that I would have this much of a hard time still finding a job, but it is what it is. I'm trying to make the best of it. I'm telling you guys, it's a grueling situation just for me. And if you're going through the same situation and can relate, then you then you understand where I come from, where I, where I feel the way I feel about things. And it just doesn't make sense to me that it's taking me so long to find a job. But anyway, now baby girl love her oh my gosh my daughter's too much so things that she's doing and i wish i could just like capture them on for you guys and i think i have some clips from us being outside last week that i was going to upload into a whole video but it was just funny but i'll try to input them in this week's video so you guys can see so we went outside my daughter's thing is now she'll pull to go outside it's like she knows like if she's been out in the car but then she really wasn't like walking around anything because i've taken her out where she's gotten to actually like walk around like we've walked from store to store and i think she kind of liked that freedom because normally i keep her in a stroller i my child is the breakaway child she will try to run away because she thinks it's funny because she did it in the store so anyway we've been going outside she's she's loving it ride her little car, ride her little bike, and she's just having a ball. So now, too, her vocabulary is starting to grow. Now, I know, like, she has a younger cousin. My baby cousin has a daughter 
who's doing things a little bit more than my daughter is, and it's not for lack of trying, like things like she sings her ABCs, I can't even get my daughter to sing hers. Like, it's not for lack of trying with my daughter. We definitely communicate. I talk to her like a regular person. My mother's like, you have to talk, have conversations with her. So I talk to her every day. I don't talk to her like she's a baby. We don't do baby talk. We're, we're past that. She's almost two and a half years old. Like, we're past the baby talk. So... We sit down, like I try to read to her, but now her attention span is like she's all over the place. She wants to be into everything. So getting her to focus, and I'm almost, I do though want to ask the person that she goes to her daycare, what is she teaching them? Because I don't feel like she's learning anything because she's really not coming home with anything other than new words that I just would imagine she would come home with. So when she can't reach something, she says, reach reach and point as and trying to reach for the item which she did out of the blue one day i never knew where she came up with it it was quite interesting um i have a key necklace from tiffany's that i wear around my neck ever so often she's able to say the word key or keys and i think that just associates with the fact that she has a set of baby car keys that was a toy and I guess she was playing with a set at daycare. So she came home one day and she saw it around my neck and she was like, Key! And I didn't realize either where she had gotten that from, but she's she's slowly but surely expanding her words and things that she says. So she'll say like food when it's like dinner time and she knows food. She'll say food. And she could say juice. Well, she's always been able to say juice, but it never sounded like juice. And now when she says juice, it sounds like she's saying Jew. It's so funny, but we know she wants juice. So she's definitely, she's a very smart child. I give it to my daughter. She's very smart because she can remember where things are. Even if you try to manipulate her not to look in that area, she knows that it was there. She knows that there's chips in the cabinet, so she'll take you to the cabinet when she wants those chips. Or she knows her snacks are in there, like her graham crackers and stuff like that are in there, so she'll take you when she wants those things. When she knows that she's looking for someone in the house, like either myself or my husband, she will take us to where she wants to go. If she wants to go up the stairs, she's very slick because she's been able to go up and down these stairs by herself for the longest without one of us. But now she'll like take us so that we take her upstairs or bring her back downstairs. She does it mostly to her father, especially when she's looking for me in the house, which is quite funny. Because even on Sunday when I was doing my makeup, I managed to slip into to this room without her really noticing me. And she went and grabbed her dad to come and help her try to open the door to come in here to me. So, yeah, she's growing slowly but surely. She's on the right track. I just wish she would do kind of a little bit more because I see her little cousin doing a little bit more, but whatever. She'll do it all in her own time and all that stuff. As for daycare, I'm still trying to find something that will probably be a little bit better. My cousin tells me to look into all these programs because I don't make a lot of money. But what I'm always afraid of is because it never works to my advantage when I try to do those things because I have a husband who makes probably enough money, even if you thought that, you know, we combine our incomes to pay for the, and it's not the case. So, yeah. So that's what's been going on here at Diva's house um, in terms of mommy life. I'm trying to like get it together just because I've been in this real funk about not finding a more full-time based job and having money to do things that I've kind of let some things just like, eh, I'm just not interested in certain things here in the house. Like I find being in the house being absolutely boring. Like I don't, I'm not a homebody. I like to be out. I like to have money to go out and do things, but I just don't. So it's been really hard, but I'm trying to get through it. But she's growing, which is awesome. So I get to watch her do like funny, hilarious things. She laughs at the weirdest and funniest things. And out of nowhere, she laughs at certain things. And then she's she's very affectionate. Like if she sees me and my husband kiss and she's up in somebody's arms, her new thing is to put us, keep putting us together to kiss. So she'll get pull our faces and have us kiss. So it's hilarious. Like 
I really wish I could just had the time to say I could document everything that she does to show you guys. But I don't really want to show her too much here on my social media because people can be cruel or say things. And I'm that type of mommy that I will cuss you out in a heartbeat if you ever thought to say something hurtful against my child. I don't even care if, care if you said something bad about me because either I can block you out or whatever. But don't ever talk about my child. It's going to be a problem. And y'all will see the ratchet side of this diva. And you don't want that. But anyway, my fabulous divas, that's all I have for you guys on this week's edition of Diary of At Home Mom. Stay tuned. At the end of the month, I'll probably have another story to tell. If you guys have noticed, I have changed up the format with Diary of At Home Mom. I used to bring it to you guys every Wednesday, but since I've been working, I really don't have too much to tell you guys. So I try to do it twice a month. So look out for that Diary of At Home Mom slash diva at the first and last Wednesday of each month month but of course you can always find me on mondays and wednesdays wednesdays with some kind of video for you guys of course friday for tutorial friday y'all wouldn't miss that out because i know you guys love those anyway guys y'all know what to do y'all stay fat because you know your girl is too you know what you can do you can catch me on my next one bye Where you going? No. What do you mean no? What Huh? No. Where are you going? Where are you? Why are you trying to walk in the street? I see you. You come back here. <laughs> Where are you going? Huh? No. No. You not funny. Hi, baby. Get over here. Don't you go in that dirt. You just always want to walk in the grass. No. Leave that alone. Dirty. Yuck. Leave that alone. It's weeds. Why your sweater so dirty, Tutu? Where you going? What? No. You see somebody walking? You gonna ride your car? Come ride your car. Come on. So this is what it's like being outside with my daughter because now all of a sudden she wants to be an outside child. I probably never ever blog these kind of experiences, especially for my mommy videos. But maybe this will be the first. So let me turn the camera on myself so you guys can see what I look like today. Hey Diva Dolls. Welcome to another episode of Diary of At Home Mom. So as you guys can see, I'm outside with my daughter. She wants to come outside. I'm not an outside -y kind of mom unless I'm like shopping. I don't like bugs. And it's getting warm here in the south. So of course the buggies are out. But yeah, she wants to come outside. What about this life? So yeah, she's playing. We do have a backyard, just in case you guys are wondering, but it's, um, like I said, the bugs, and I don't do backyard. And it's kind of like a dirt patch to me back there. It's not a whole lot of grass. So yeah, as you can see, my little two-year-old monster. Everything to her is mine. So yeah, I had to persuade her to run in the house so let's come get the camera. Cause I wanted to capture her outside just because
But yeah. So I'm gonna shoot a little bit more video of her. Her dad is on her way, his way home. And um Yeah. Not much going on. It's nice out here. It's like I think 70 degrees. I'm trying to keep her from going in the street because she wants to go in the street. She thinks she's funny. She thinks she's quick too. But um yeah. So we out here doing a little bit of vlogging. Vlogging, whatever you want to call it. Um my daughter is crazy so we live on a nice you know nice street here in Atlanta and if you live in Atlanta forgot for all y'all don't know I live close to East Point so it's not far come back here you stay here see she don't even want to listen where are you going Anyway, back to watching her because she will try to run off. I ain't about that life running down the street. Mm -mm. <laughs> Go that way. Go that way. Trying to run down the garage. Back up. <laughs> Oops. Put your shoe back on. 